Welcome back. Time now to talk injuries. There's lots of them and there's no one better to talk about them in this game than our next guest. And he does this every single week with us, Dr Peter Larkins. Doc, a couple of Gold Coast injuries to start with today. Yeah, there was Damo. Uh, obviously, the younger players there. We really need to talk of this injury. This is Seb Tape's right knee injury where uh, just going into the contest, the ball, and the, his, his right foot gets caught under. Just watch the, the angles that comes forward here where the medial ligament ruptures as he goes through and you can see the actual deformity of the knee. And also the ACL seriously at risk with that. So they're expecting the worst news scans today. That's on Lindsay Seb's Thomas home. again there, Doc. Is it an issue with, with it being Thomas again? Oh, look, he's diving over the ball. He's not sliding feet yeah. forth. I mean, I think that's we see that in contests all yeah. the time. So I've got no problem with that at all. Rory Thompson Rory here, Doc. Thompson also. Look, this is, uh, this is interesting. You, come, you see him in the background uh, and he really pulls up before the contest. And that's exactly what you expect when someone does a low calf or even Achilles, Richo. So, so again, they're getting scans on that right ankle and low calf region today. But they reminds me of the Lewenberg or even back to the old uh, one when Anthony Rocket did that Achilles injury and if that's uh, the case that's going to be a long time out for the young star but I think Tate's a more serious one. Certainly pulled up pretty lame. What about Campbell Brown? He's got an unusual injury. Brown is, uh, yeah, look, we saw him injure his knee a couple of weeks ago where he landed. We thought it was a posterior cruciate, but he's also strained uh, some of the capsule outside the knee, and then he's had a bit of bleeding on the knee. And he's really done well since that. It looked like it was going to be a more significant injury. So they've got to buy this week uh, with the Gold Coast. So uh, Campbell expect him to play, and uh, being tough, uh, I'm almost expecting him to play in the week after the bye. Doc, one guy who just can't get a crack at an AFL career properly is Hamish Hartlett. He's done another hamstring for Port Adelaide. Yeah, yeah look, the, the fifth time he's done a right hamstring. I mean, you almost, you'd say, how could he do it just slightly? You see him on his hands and knees there. We get one more view as he comes in. And look, it's not even a kick. It's not mm. even a sprint, Rich. Now, you know, 9 and 10 and 11, he's had hamstring injuries on the way through. At the moment, the club's saying it's just a standard hamstring and they're expecting him out three or four. But is his career in jeopardy, Doc? I mean, well, it... look, once you've had one, you've got scar tissue yeah. in there. You can see them icing him up and he's out of the game in the third quarter. We've seen the final quarter there still going on. But you'd have to be in your mind at plays when you've had every every season since he started his footy in 09, he's been out with a hamstring injury. What about Will Schofield for the Eagles, Doc? He's uh, had a good year and yeah. just pulled up pretty lame he in did. front of the Look, interchange yeah. bench. Yeah, it was late in the game uh, for the West Coast. He's done a hammy, uh, Richo. And, of course, he got a big game against Collingwood this week. So uh, not expecting Schofield to play on, uh, on Saturday night's game and probably a three or four week or a bit like uh, we just saw with uh, Hartlett. Doc, go back to Queen's birthday if we can and, and have a look at Alan Didak having a very early kick in the game and, and just totally blowing that, that groin again. Yeah. What's your take on this? Collingwood has put out a release last week and, and even today they're saying that there could only be two or three weeks. What, what, what are you hearing? Well, the upshot is that he's pulled all of the remaining tendon off the left groin bone. So he already had it 60% torn off. It took him 12 weeks to get back. He's ripped the rest of it off. He knew he was in trouble on the ball drop, Richo, because he said he felt as he began to swing the leg through. Look, it, I thought that was another six to eight weeks minimum mm. it was going to be from only a week ago. He's only had the one off. They're saying two weeks, which would be absolutely extraordinary for him to play. So I think probably to get his strength back, and if it doesn't get too sore, six weeks would be a good so result. With, you said Hartlett's in trouble with his hammy, but what about Didak now? That's got to be a concern going forward. It is a concern because of the way he's done that. I mean, there is an operation where the players get the adductors taken off the bone when they've got tight adductors and, and osteitis pubis days, that was part of the operation. They used to get back in six weeks when it was done surgically. So it, it's a good long-term possibility you'll get back, but I just can't see it in the next month yeah. or six, don't I? Collins had a lot of problems. They've got a big game this week against West Coast. Who can they expect that? Yeah, with the coming back, we're going to see, look, uh, Heath Shaw's obviously been out with a calf injury since. He's missed three weeks, and he's a good candidate to come back. Um, certainly, I think Katuvi's got to have an assessment during the week, and he'll have a test, but he's an outside chance. Ben Reid, I mean, God, he's had that trouble, hasn't he, with mm. the quad. He's now missed four. They thought it'd be four to five, but the third time he's done it, he's a reasonable chance to play. Look, Pendlebury's only missed the two games with a crack in his tibia bone. He's keen to play in this West Coast game. I'm not sure he will get up. With Butler, um, he's missed three with a hamstring and he'll be right to go. Waters will certainly come back from the suspension. They really will uh, look forward to getting back. The other big game on the weekend with uh, up in Sydney on Friday night, uh, Goods has now missed six weeks. It was probably a six to eight week injury. He's keen to play with that flexor tear on his hip. I reckon they won't risk him. They wouldn't want a setback, but I mean, if he trains well, they'll get him up. And Pods Adley, the cat said he had a sore thigh, but I think he had a bit of a soreness in the ribs as well. He's only missed the week, then they've had the bye, so he'll be right to play, Pods Adley. Doc, as always, comprehensive. Thank you. Thanks, Damo. Yeah. See you next week. Mark Murphy will be joining us next on Access All Areas.